Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP 7 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering error handling or error reporting. And also we're going to be taking a very brief look at the php.ini file as well as the php info function. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the PHP info function. Uh, if you're using a service like GoDaddy or HostGator, something like that, uh, typically speaking by default, error reporting is going to be disabled. So if we were to purposely write some bad code, open and close our PHP tags, and we will type in echo and some gibberish without the semicolon, echo more gibberish, no semicolon, save that, and refresh our page, it's not giving us an error, it's just not loading. So another example here would be, uh, let's say var equals one. If var equals one, echo, hello. So again, no error. So if you are having a issue like this where you have code typed out but you're not seeing anything or you're not getting any errors it's probably error reporting is disabled in your php.ini file so to fix this you first have to locate the php.ini file so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in php info save that and go ahead and refresh our browser here so right here at the top it's going to show our php version and a lot of really inf uh, really useful information for you. It's important to note though that this should not be visible to anybody on your website. So again, if you're using like HostGator or GoDaddy or iPage or something, this is not going to be accessible to your users by default. So if we want to scroll down here, this is going to give you some basic information, Apache environment, uh, HTTP headers information, uh, calendar, curl, curls enabled, date, notice I have mine set to Los Angeles time. <clears throat> File info, FTP, you get the idea. So what we're looking for here is our PHP file, our php.ini file. So let's type in php.ini. And if you see here, loaded configuration file, this is the path that you need to take to get to your php.ini file. So I actually have already opened this up. So here is my php.ini file, and you want to be very careful with editing this. So PHP info is going to give you the information on your current PHP configuration. The php.ini file is where you edit those, uh, those pieces of information. So in this specific tutorial, we're only going to be taking a look at error reporting. So we will type in, oh, it's right here, perfect. Uh, so we would type in error reporting. And if you notice here, error reporting is set to zero. So now here are all of the different types of errors that PHP 7 will display. So in most cases, if you're on a local, uh, local web server, it's good to just use E all. So what I will do is I will type in E underscore all. Now, if you wanted to do uh, a combination. If you didn't want to do E all, like let's say you wanted to get fatal runtime errors, you would do something like E underscore error and let's say you wanted to do E parse, E underscore parse. So that is what that would look like. And also make sure display errors is set to on. I uh, just noticed that and I forgot to mention that before. Okay, so if you wanted to exclude something, you would do, let's say we wanted to exclude parse errors. So you would type in this little symbol right here. And that would say, okay, I wanna see E error, but not E parse. Okay, so now that we've set it to e error, go ahead and save that. 
and display errors is set to on. Now we'll go back into our tut.php. Uh, actually, you know what? First, let's restart our web server. Okay, now that we've restarted our web server, let's go ahead and write some bad code again. Echo, gibberish, echo, or gibberish. Now, if we refresh this, hmm. Oh, that's why. All right, guys, sorry about that. I made a mistake. I left it as E error instead of E all. Um, so what it should have displayed was a parse error, but because it was set to E error, it wasn't going to display that. So now I've changed it to say E all. So we save that, save the bad code, refresh. Now we have our parse error. So let's try it with another example. Var, oops, var equals one. If, can't type tonight, var equals one, echo one, refresh, unexpected end of file, perfect. So that's a very brief introduction into the php.ini file, the php info function, and error reporting in php7. If this tutorial helped you out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next tutorial.